Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you all here with me today. So today I'm going to give myself a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to time myself and give myself five minutes at most, probably take me less than that, to go through this magazine and harvest as much as I can in five minutes. And then I'm going to give myself 30 minutes to fussy cut everything out and see how much I can get in that 30 minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, I have my clock. Okay, let's go. So we're gonna start first. I don't have to go as fast as I think I do. Just gonna grab a few things out of here. I wanna look at both sides. Ooh, I like her, she's edgy. Okay, yes, I do like her. Oh, love Zendaya, ooh, I want that. It's on the other side. Nope, I like her better. Okay, she's cute too. Oop, full page. This could be a full page background right here. I'll put that up there. Okay, this could be a background. Once you put stuff over it, you won't even know that's a body right there. Love it. Um, do I want her hand? No, it's kind of fuzzy. Ooh, great background image. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling the pressure. I love this. Okay, normally I hate things like this gives me anxiety, but this is fun because I'm just doing it for funsies. Um, let's see, that could be a background. So could that. Maybe I'll take that for a background image. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I already cut something off of here. Okay, great big Clinique bottle. I want the word obsessed. That's a big Clinique bottle. It's on the other side, clinically proven. Eh, oh, I like this one because it's purple. It's more colorful, which is funny because I don't like purple. Okay, so we'll take that. I don't take the perfume things. They're just too bulky for me. Um, let's see, is there anything here that I want? Ooh, full page image, yes. These are all gonna go in my, uh, what do you call it? My random composition notebook, glue book. This could be a background as well. Okay. Um, you know, I cut these out all the time, but they're just, it's, I mean, I, I could, I guess I could use it as a background and <laughs> just kind of put something over the ladies. Yes, they're gorgeous, but I'd rather have like everything else that's around. So I'm just going to move on. Um, yeah, I want some of these pictures of the greenery. What's on the other side? Ooh, I could cut these out into little circles though. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Another perfume ad. Okay, I have two minutes left. I gotta get moving now. Ooh, full page background. No words on it, love that. Summer school, Vogue, discover, indulge me. Lots of words, okay. Ooh, I want her. I want these books. I want this background. Or at least a big square. Um, oh my gosh, look at the dog. Hank, look at his face. Love that. Okay, anything here? She's kind of funky. Yada, yada, yada. Demi Lovato. I want her because I want to paint on her face. I'll set that aside for something else. Um, moving on. That could be a background image, but it's very... I'll take the books on the other side. It's just very dark, and I like more colorful things. Her secret. Who cares? What's yours? I want that. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, this could be a background page, but I don't know. I don't know. Remember, I'm just doing a quick go through. Um, that's kind of interesting with the, but I don't know. Do they just not wear clothes anymore? Am I just getting older? I don't know. That's kind of a cute one. I do like the log. Oh, this could be a background too. I just cover up some of that and you'd never know that there was a foot or anything there. Okay, um, this could be too, a background. All right, no, um, background. Oh, look at this, oh, hallelujah. Look at that background image. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, um, ooh, do I wanna cut him out? I might, what's on the other side? <gasps> That's interesting too. I don't know yet. Okay, life is a cabaret, I want that. Ooh, but I like him better there. Okay, I want him, sorry getting excited. I have one minute left. Okay. One minute, Nicole. Let's see. What do I want? These could be background images too. I kind of like, I 
kind of want to cut her out. Okay. Oh boy, I'm feeling the pressure. <gasps> Look at these cute little asses. Background. Um, I'm going to cut out this donkey. Okay. Ooh, she'd be a good paint your face. Why do I kind of like this? Oh my gosh, my time's running out. Spring to try. <laughs> Ooh, I want to cut this stuff out. I want these shoes. I want these flowers. I could use that whole page as a background page. Okay, paper, words in this issue. Ooh, great, great square background. Okay. Oh my gosh, I just made it in time. Okay, so that was my speed through harvest. <laughs> that was fun. This is great to like get some extra images out. And, uh, you know, just every day if you give yourself 30 minutes, it's kind of like that philosophy of, you know, set your timer for 20 or 30 minutes and pick up your house and see how much you can get done in that time. That's kind of what I'm doing here. Okay, so now I have 30 minutes to cut out as much as I can here. I need a sip of my morning fuel to get through this. Ah, nothing like some tequila in the morning. <laughs> just joking. It's just coffee. Okay. All right, so here we go. I'm going to start harvesting. You know what? Let's start with the easy ones, the backgrounds, because this will take me far less time. So this is what I do. I just go through with my straight edge and I cut off all the parts I don't want. And then do I want to keep the last look? I don't think I do. So I'm just going to boop, cut it like that. Is there anything I can salvage? No, there is not. Okay, so this will go in my squares. This I want as a background. So I'm going to cut off my torn edge here like so. And yeah, that'll be a background. So I'll put that in that pile. Oh my gosh, these eyes. I still want to do like one of my junk mail flippy floppy things um, with all eyes because I just love them. Okay, so there's that. This is a full page background. All I'm doing is just making the edge nice and clean so that I can glue on either side of the paper. And that way, when I'm ready to glue, I can just glue and I don't have to worry about my edges or anything. Okay. Oops. Let me go over just a little bit more. There we go. And this one. Bring this over. And I think what I'll do is... Do I want to cut off the bottom part? No, I'll leave it for now because when I put it into my book, I can cut off the bottom part or I can leave it and just cover it. Okay, her. There we go. She's very interesting. And Skechers. Love Skechers ads. Oh, they're the best. Okay, got an airplane going over us right now. This is a great background image. Love that. Okay, and then we have this one. And remember, I can cover up like the people. If I don't want her or I just want the top half, I can cover up the bottom. You can always cover up parts of your image you don't like. Oh, I love full page images like this. No writing on them, super interesting. You could even just leave them in your glue book. You don't have to put anything on them if you don't want to. Okay. There we go. Oops, I think I need to do just a little bit more on this one. There we go. Okay, so all my backgrounds are done now. That was easy. Okay. Now we move on to fussy cutting. So I want to look at this page. Okay, I'll take one page at a time. I was almost thinking about cutting out this whole outfit because I kind of like the whole thing minus this because that will be a pain to cut out. Um. I'm on a time limit. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Oh my 
gosh. Yesterday for my glue crew video, you guys, I did collage on a canvas. And it turned out really good. I had some hiccups because I tried some techniques just to see how they'd work. And I didn't like how they worked. Um, so then I went back to a different technique. And oh my gosh, I really love how it looks. I'm going to have my husband hang it up for me in my craft room. I just did kind of a, I mean, it was a larger surface in, in the grand scheme of things, but it was 11 by 14. So it wasn't the big canvas I was originally thinking I would do because I wanted to practice on a smaller one because I've only glued on a canvas like once, I think. I don't even know where it is. And so basically I'm starting all over because, you know, trying different techniques and stuff. Anyways, long story short, I loved it. I definitely want to make another one. I got my canvases from Dollar Tree a while back, so um, yeah, it was really fun. Okay, now I just need to cut down the side here. Boop, all right, done. Now, do I just want this pink shoe or the whole outfit? I really do like the whole outfit, so. Might be able to salvage some of that. Okay, this one's going to take me a little while, so better concentrate. I love all of your comments about Twinchy Tuesday about different color patterns. So I started writing down your all of your suggestions for like three color combos. And I think I might use, I have a bunch of popsicle sticks and I think I might put your comments of three color combos on the stick and then um, put them in like a cup or something. And then I have to pick one of your guys's three color combos. Some of you had some really good ones. Some of you, they were a little bit harder to do, you know, a little bit more challenging of a color palette in my opinion, you know, we all like different things and all that kind of stuff. So some things are easier for some to work on than others. So yeah, I think that would be really fun. And then I can just pick a, a popsicle stick out of the cup and that'll be my color palette for the week. And then there was also a bunch of um, suggestions for themes which I could also, if I decide I don't want to do a color theme, I could pick just from another theme, you know, like dogs and cats or um, the beach or vintage. I mean, there were so many cats and dogs. There was a lot. So I think I'll do popsicle sticks for that too, but maybe put them, um, maybe I'll do like put a color on each of the sticks. So like um, one color means a color theme or I could just get the color okay now I'm talking out loud and I'm making okay I'm working through it in my brain all right um I can get the color popsicle sticks and use those for the color combos and then use my plain popsicle sticks for the themes I might do that Did you see what I did there? So this little green thing goes over the, the coat arm. So I just changed the shape of the coat and cut that green thing off. I don't know if that helps some of you if you ever come across an issue like that. Oh boy. I'm not going to get as much done as I thought, I don't think. <laughs> that's fine, because at least I have something right. Even if I only cut out two images, that's two more images than I had before I started my little challenge. So I'm, I'll am i be happy no matter what. No regrets. All right, here we go. We're rounding third now. Boop. Okay, 
you need to go there. Ah. Maybe we were just rounding seconds. Third base is taking a lot longer. Am I walking in or what are we doing here? Come on, Nicole. Kick it up a notch. Go, speed racer. I still want to cut nice, though, so I do want to take my time. But I also kind of want to see how many things I can cut out. You know what I mean? Okay, so there's two. And then I'll cut, like, that stuff out later at another time. Okay, garbage. Do I want to keep her? That is the question. Let's take a look. On the other side, there's nothing there. So let's go like that. Okay, let's trim this up. Do I like it? It's not bad. I'll put it in my squares. Okay. Fussy cuts. What do we have here? Ooh, I have a little little donkey so let's trim the donkey down so the donkey is more of the focal and I think I'll cut across here and maybe take a little bit here okay so now there's my donkey photo love it going in my squares do I want to keep this I don't think I do moving on Anything here? No. Okay, moving on. Next we have her, and I was going to fussy cut her, but now, no, I don't know if I want to. This is exactly what my mom's chihuahua looks like. I am not even joking. That's crazy. Although I think that might be like a Pomeranian. Maybe it's a chihuahua mix. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. We're cutting out another full body model here. This image is a little blurry. It might not look like it on camera, but in person it is. You know how the magazines do that now where they make the image kind of blurry? I hate that. I don't know why they do that. Maybe it's like supposed to be edgy and look more like old film camera or something. I don't know. Not great for us glue bookers, that's for sure. Okay. Where's her? I can't see her sweater. There it is. Okay. There we go. Boop. If you're wondering why my scissors make that noise, it's because I use serrated scissors. So they have like a little, they have, kind of have little teeth. And I find personally that they help with my fussy cutting because it grips the magazine paper, which is typically tends to be very smooth. And this way it kind of helps me have more control. Some people don't like these scissors, but more more people like them than don't. Um, I, I really like them. They're the only ones I can use for fussy cutting comfortably and for long periods of time. Okay, I'm just gonna make some fluff for the dog there, get its little tootsies. How much time do I have? Oh my gosh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. I think I might've cut her sock a little too small. My husband put up our, we have like a little Christmas swag that we put over our back door with um, twinkle lights on it inside the house over our curtains or whatever during Christmas time. And it's mine and Jackson's favorite thing. It just makes our house look so cozy at night. Oops. So Bob put it up for us and oh my gosh, Jackson and I, oh no, I'm cutting her dress. Mm -hmm. Okay, talking and fussy cutting at the same time. You know what? That's fine. I'm just making an alteration. Moving on. I could salvage and just leave the cut there and then glue it back together when I glue it on the page. But you know what? It's fine. It's a happy little accident. 
No regrets. It actually looks really good like that, so I'm fine. Okay, throw that away. Do I want these girls? No. Ooh, look, it says yes. <laughs> do I want these girls? Yes, you do. All right, here we go. Um, let's cut this down. All right, yes. No, I need to cut it more. All right, I like that better. That'll go in words. Okay, I don't want them. This is trash. This is, yeah, I don't want that. Okay, life is a cabaret. What's on the other side? Oh yeah, I wanted him too. You know, I could fussy cut him out instead, and then I could get the word and him. So maybe I'll do that. I was gonna cut him out as a square, but I also want the life as a cabaret. So I'm not going to do that. What I will do is I can see the word behind, so I know I'm not cutting into it. Okay, so we will go like this. It is so windy here today, and today is garbage day, which, oh my gosh. If you, if you live somewhere where it's windy, you know. Garbage day, oh, it's the pits. Everybody's garbage goes everywhere, and the garbage cans go flying down the street. <laughs> Thankfully, I haven't heard any tip over yet, so that's good. It is really sunny out, though. Sunny and cold and windy. We got a little break from the rain, which is nice. Even though I love rain. Okay, and then I'll cut out the middle part of him later. I usually leave those until I'm glue booking because... Sometimes when you have your images all together, um, they can get hooked into each other and stuff, and I'd rather not have that rip, so that's just a personal preference of mine. Oh, boy. Okay, we have that. All right. And on the other side, I want Life is a Cabaret. that really quick actually maybe I'll just fussy cut it so I talk a lot about how I kind of do this kind of wavy thing when I'm fussy cutting because I'm a perfectionist and I get very hung up on my lines being straight and I'm kind of working on letting go a little bit and not changing who I am but just kind of making sure that my uh, perfectionism doesn't ruin my crafting experience so I kind of just do that because then I don't stress about it being straight. Okay, this guy I was gonna cut out. What is with me with all these full page? Ah, but I really like this too. I might keep that as a full page. Okay, I'll do that later. All right, this one I want her secret. Okay, let's see. I feel like everything I'm cutting out is so hard to well, not this stuff, but like all of those were hard, so it took more time. Okay, got that. And usually, ooh, I like this. Who cares? What's yours? Let's cut both of these. Sometimes it's just easier for me to just cut the image out and then fussy cut it. another word and then we have this one ah both of my dogs are in here with me right now of course because they love their mommy all right oops I didn't cut this 
Let it go, Nicole. Let it go. Okay, what's yours? Got it. Done. Ooh, I do like her. Ooh, what's this? Chasing Perfection. Ooh, I like that too. Let's grab that. Chasing a perfection. Oh my gosh, of course I like that because I'm always chasing perfection. <laughs> okay, so let's trim this down just a little bit. I like to trim my stuff down. I just feel like it looks more interesting for me personally. I also want to take a little off the top here. All right, chasing perfection. Got it. All right, what's left of her? We'll take her too. All right, let's see. Put it right there. And right here. Let's cut more of this off. I don't need all of her neck. There, that's a cute little image. Okay, put that with my squares. These can go, these can go, okay. Ooh, look at all my stuff I have so far. I'm already very happy. Okay, so yes, I want to cut out these books because who doesn't love books? Oh my gosh, I love books. The One of my favorite things to look at at the Dollar Tree is their books. Oh, and my friend Eileen, who you've heard me talk about, she used to send me happy mails all the time. And I haven't heard from her in some time and I'm very worried because it's unlike her. So I'm... I'm hoping she's okay. But she always sent me books from there, too. Um, let me see. Right, I'll go like this. I'm kind of getting confused by the book shadows here. There we go. Eh, come on, Nicole. Okay. These are all straight lines. You'd think I'd be able to cut this one a lot faster. Straight lines are my, what's that word? I can't think of it right now. My brain fog right now has been so bad. Oh my gosh, so bad. All right, here we go. Round in seconds. These books would look really cool on a page. I'm very excited to use them. There we go. Got the books. Don't think I didn't see it. I saw it. Open book. I know you guys were yelling at me in your head. Don't forget the open book that's right there. I got you. I listen sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. <laughs> um, okay, I don't want that. Let's see. Remember when you're using a paper trimmer to always hold down the plastic. That's what it's there for, so your paper doesn't move. Okay, open book, got it. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. That's all gotta go. Ooh, I have to cut out Hank. Love Mr. Hank. That just fits him too, doesn't it? Um, do I want the pillow he's sitting on? No, okay. Oh, he's so cute. I just wanna kiss his little face. Gosh, this name really fits him. He looks like a little Hank, doesn't he? My cousin's name is Hank. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, I love you, Hank. I hope you found your forever home. And it's a good one. And they give you lots of treats and bones and take you for walks. I 
was looking at that YouTube short I have of Xena. <laughs> Somebody commented. That is the longest neck I have ever seen on a dog. <laughs> and they're not lying. Xena has a very long neck. Should I cut out the hank? I probably should. Maybe I'll just do like a little circle or like an oval. Um, she does have a very long neck because she's part whippet. And if you've ever looked at like a greyhound or anything like that, they have very long necks. Okay, look at this face. Best friends. Save them all. I love that. Best friends. You know, I've often thought about volunteering at a pet shelter, and I just can't do it. I would bring, I know this is selfish of me to not do it, but I would, I, I can't. I would cry. I would want to bring them home. Um, it would just, it would be really hard for me. I saw a lady walking the other day in front of my house, and I was not even joking, you guys. I'm, I'm dead serious. I thought I was going to have to fight this one. <laughs> I know. I know. I just, she was being mean to her dog, borderline abusive, and I was like, she touches that dog or grabs his face one more time. I am going out there. She wasn't technically doing anything wrong, wrong. I just would never treat my animal that way. And so I was watching. I'm like, you better treat that dog good or I'm coming out there, lady. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I just don't have any tolerance for any kind of animal abuse, period. Can you even with this face? Oh my gosh, that sounds like something I would say. 100%. Okay. Okay. that. Oh, that is not straight. Okay. That's going to bother me. Nicole, you don't have time to worry about that, but I'm going to anyways, because I need to. Okay. There we go. Nice. Oh, I feel like there might be more words here that I want. It's like cute meets mesmerizing, covered in adorable, right? Um, save a face. Oh, okay. I have to take this quote too, because that's a good one. Let's go like this. Okay. It's like cute meets mesmerizing, covered in adorable, right? Oops. Okay. Got that word. All right, Nicole, move on, move on. Ooh, I want these books. That's right. Find your next great read. Ah, I only have five minutes. Okay. I'm going to leave a little border around these because I don't know. I just feel like I need to. Oh gosh, this is going to take me forever. Why'd you pick this page? Oh, I only have a few more minutes left. <sighs> Okay, I'm starting to sweat. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> it's not that deep. It's just for fun. See how much you can get done. You know, if you want to keep going afterwards, keep going. But if not, at least you got some images cut today. Usually I put on a movie when I'm doing this, and I tend to cut really fast when I do that because I'm just zoned in. And I usually pick a movie that I already know. Okay, who am I kidding? I always pick movies I know. So, a subscriber left me a comment about, and I think I talked about this already, but about how they watched, her therapist told her that she watches the same things all the time because it's comforting for her anxiety because she knows what's going to happen. I am 1000% that person. I don't like new things. I don't like watching new movies. Even if I want to watch it, I still won't. Like, I still have not seen John Wick 4, uh, even though I love John Wick 1, 2, and 3, minus some of the scenes that have to do with dogs, but whatever. And then um, I just skip past those. But, you know, I just have a really hard time. I also have a lot of the same clothes. Like, I have a black shirt that I have three of the same black shirt and then I have the same shirt but in two different colors or no three different colors um I have a Goonie sweatshirt I wear all the time I have two of those I it's just weird I don't know I just feel more comfortable with things I know 
because new things are not good. I listen to the same music all the time. I mean, I'll listen to some new stuff, but you know what I mean? Like, generally speaking, I watch movies I already have seen a thousand times. And you guys will probably pick that up because I talk about some of the movies I watch while I'm crafting and stuff, and I watch the same ones all the time. Okay, find your next great read. We got that. What did I want here? What did I want? What did I want? Oh, I wanted her. Nice. Ah. Okay, you guys, my time's winding down. I only have a few more minutes. Three to be exact. I might be off a minute or two, but that's okay. Okay, I have her. She goes in my squares. Do I want this? Taking the waters. I might take this part, though, for a background piece. Take that. 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 And one more. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, so that could be like a little filler piece. That'll go in my squares. Okay. Let's get this stuff going. I don't even care what's on the other side at this point. Okay, what did I want here? Ooh, summer school. Okay, let me cut that out. What was on the other side? Ooh, indulge me. That's what I wanted. Okay, let me grab that first. Indulge me. There we go. Indulge me. Okay, and I want summer school. Summer school. I had to go to summer school. Any of you have to ever go to summer school? I had to go to summer school of all things geometry. I know. I'm really good at math. I actually enjoy math, but I never could understand geometry, which is so crazy. Because so many people who hate math can do geometry and like it. I, I don't know. It just didn't click for me. There we go. So I had to go to night school for that. Oh, no, I had to go to night school and summer school for geometry. <laughs> I really didn't get it. Um, okay, let's see. Discover the world of fashion. I think I might want that. Okay. Oh, my gosh. One minute. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm so proud of myself. I got so much done. This was fun. I almost want to speed this up and make it 45 minutes just to see. 30 minutes isn't very long. I usually spend about an hour or two cutting, so. Oh, wait, I didn't want that part. Ah, I wasted seconds. Okay, here we go. Discover the fashion. Got it. Okay, and I could save. I'll save this because I might cut out some of the black for... Um, backgrounds. Okay. 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 I have like seconds going now. <laughs> I feel like Tina Belcher. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you ever watch Bob's Burgers? We love Bob's Burgers. I feel like the Belchers are kind of like me and my husband and two sons. Like we're very close. Okay. That's another good one. Do I want that one? Ooh, that was a squeak. I didn't like it. Ooh, that's a good background. This is why you always flip over your pages. I mean, it's all white, but that'll work. I'll save it. Okay, okay. Can I get, can I cut this up? There's no way. I have like 30 seconds. There's no way. I'm going for it. Life's too short. Go for it. Ooh. I just ripped it. That's okay. Ah, oh, my time's up. Okay, so not bad. I only have one, two, three, four pieces of paper left. So let me clean up here and I will show you everything I got. Okay, so for background images, I have this one. Well, I'll just go through them. I don't need to save this one for every single one. These are really great to put like in your composition notebook or you can cut them up into little squares and collage with them, especially ones like this. But I like to put stuff like this in my background because it's bright and colorful. There's no words. 
Um, you can put stuff over the top of them if you want or leave them as is. This has a little bit, but I'm going to put somebody here anyways is my goal. I love this. Oh, I love that. Okay. So those are all my backgrounds. How many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen backgrounds. Okay, and then for my squares, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine squares. Okay, and then for words, I have... I have to take little Hank. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, so I'll put those aside. And then for my fussy cuts, I have one, two, three. Four. Oh, here's another word. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I got quite a bit of stuff. I mean, that's not bad, really, for only 30 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge of mine. It was really fun, and I definitely will finish cutting up everything uh, when I'm done. And I'm really happy with what I got out of just 30 minutes. I mean, I, I got 13 backgrounds, nine squares, 16 words, and seven fussy cuts. All right, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Show me your support. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love it if you stuck around. Don't forget to drink your water. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends.